What's up guys, it's Coach Grant with First Down Training and today we're gonna be breaking down how to run a perfect corner route against press coverage with an inside release using this shoulder reduce technique, okay? So I hope this video helps you guys out. Hope it teaches you a few things about route running, how to set up a rocker step at the top of the break and how you guys can reduce your shoulder to make sure that DB does not get hands on you off the line of scrimmage, okay? But also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver and you're in the off season, right? And you're not maybe sure what to do on a day-to-day -day basis in the gym to improve your speed, explosiveness, and on the field to improve your route running, your press releases your hands, your balance. Check out that very first link in the description below for our ultimate eight-week wide receiver workout plan. What it is, it's an eight-week long daily schedule with all the field drills that wide receivers need to be doing and gym exercises that wide receivers need to be doing. It's eight weeks of daily workouts with sets, repetitions in the gym and on the field. We include picture examples of each gym exercise and two hours of content on all the specific field drills. We explain them, we break them down, and we explain the sets and repetitions. So very first link below if you want our ultimate off-season training schedule. Let's get started. So this shoulder reduce technique is one of the best things that you guys can do to restack a DB. Okay. So restacking a DB is one of the most important things when it's man coverage because that sets up this right here. That sets up that rocker step where I hit him with that just quick one, two, get him to sit to the inside, get him to bite on the post, the dig, whatever it is. And then I got some separation back to the outside, but let's talk about this, right? So if I come off the line and you see how this DB is already outside shade, I don't want to force the outside release. So many people think that, oh, when you run a corner route, you got to make sure that you take the outside release. But again, if this DB is outside shade, he's outside shade for a reason. So if this receiver of Watkins was able to come off here, he does this split release and he forces the outside, guess what this DB is going to do? He's going to get right into his hip, force him to the sideline, and he's going to have no room to break out on that corner. Now, the other thing that guys will do is that they'll take the inside release, they'll do exactly what I'm saying, but they'll stand up nice and tall and run and get completely rerouted to the inside and this DB will be hip to hip with them the entire time. So how do you beat that? And you beat that by doing this exact shoulder shoulder reduce technique that Watkins is using right here. When you guys have to run a corner route with an inside release, you got to make sure that we either restack or I put myself in a position where I could throw him by, but it's hard to throw by, especially on a corner route. So we got to work the best I can to get his hands off of me and restack. So this shoulder reduce is so important because worst case scenario, this DB gets hands on the top of my shoulder. And then what can you do? You can just rip underneath. You can just shrug your shoulder to get those hands off and you can get in that position to where you can restack. So he does a great job of reducing that shoulder, keeping that nice low exposure explosive pad level and almost going hip to hip with the DB. That's the phrase that I like to tell my wide receivers. When you go to restack and you dip that shoulder, you want to keep a tight angle hip to hip with this guy so you could reassess yourself back over the top. And you see what that does. DB does not have any hands on him. This is a perfect position that we want to get to. So anytime you guys are coming off the line, whether it's outside release, inside release, you should be dipping that shoulder almost like a D lineman, ripping underneath to put yourself in that restack position so you could create as much separation as possible. So when we get over the top here, now it's just easy, right? Now it's just about selling like I'm running a post, selling that I'm running like an out, or selling that I'm running like a dig route, a post route. You know, we gotta still make sure that I'm selling vertical to sell a seam route, whatever it may be. But how we do this is this is called a rocker step. So a rocker step is where you step hard in the direction that you're gonna go first, and then you break back to the inside, selling like you're running a post. It's essentially like a post corner without actually running three steps to the post. And we don't actually call it a post corner. It's just a rocker step, right? So when he comes off here, he takes that first move and see how much his upper half half turns to the post. That's what's going to get you space, fellas. When you restack, that DB's looking at one thing. He's looking at those hips, that number. He's trying to watch that torso and read your body language. He shouldn't be looking at your eyes. If he is, that's easy money. We don't even have to worry about that. But a disciplined guy who's going to be looking at that torso, reading the hips, we got to make sure that I actually sell with my whole entire upper body at the top of the break to get him to sit to that post. And then all it is is just accelerating out of the break. You guys get separation when you have an inside release on an outside breaking your out. You got to make sure that you keep that separation. You got to make sure that you're pumping in your arms and you're winning that race back to the ball. That is a great overall out there by Watkins. Let's watch the thing again, full speed. Great job not forcing the outside release, reducing the shoulder to get back over the top, and then hitting him with that great rocker step to create as much separation for a score. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. I always appreciate the feedback. Always great hearing from you guys and some of the stuff you have to say as well. And again, fellas, if you want an ultimate eight-week wide receiver workout plan, all the things you need to do in the gym and on the field as a wide receiver broken down into an eight-week daily schedule with sets, repetitions, rest periods, rest days, conditioning days, and all the above. Check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.